What's up YouTube? This is Isaac with 4Out Studio here. In this video I'm going to show you how you can very quickly and easily implement uh, my virtual keyboard in any of your Unreal projects. This goes back as far as UE 4.15 up to UE 5.2. Things here pretty standard. Uh, you can input all of these things via the mouse, but more importantly You can use a gamepad and input them that way. And when you're done, it's going to focus right back in on that text field. So, anyway, let's take a look at how to put this in. Okay, so the easiest way to do this, uh, pretty much step one and the only step you need for the bare implementation of this, is to take a generic input field, WBP generic input field, and put this into your UI somewhere. So. Yeah, just put one of these in. It's going to have this button as long as you don't set showing keyboard button defaults. Um, then you can just use this button here, but it will not, with this base implementation, display directly if you click in the text field, if you press the button in the text field. Um, it will respect passwords, so you can put that in here if you want to. And, of course, you can adjust the appearance however you want. Um, I do recommend copying all of this into your top level widget. Uh, this will just hide that widget temporarily while the keyboard is visible and then it will automatically display it again. And that's just going to make sure that the keyboard never loses focus so it's always going to stay on those keys. So yeah, that's all that is in my actual test UI. That's all you need to put in your test UI. Um, if you do want to have it display the keyboard when you actually press the button in the field and not show that button, or even if you do want to show the button but you want to have both, um, then you can simply uh, copy this function right here from the test pawn into your pawn. So this is just checking uh, if any of the text boxes have focus. If it does, it's going to create the keyboard and it's going to go ahead and uh, assign the text field to that keyboard pretty much. Uh, so yeah, that's that's pretty much the uh, the basics of actually implementing it. Uh, there is a lot of customization you can do of course. Um, if you want to customize all of the keys really quickly and easily, then you can come in here and you have quite a lot of options. Um, so you can set the color, you can set the focus color, although it's probably best to leave the focus color constant for all of the keys. I don't really recommend having different focus colors, but it's up to you. Um, you can adjust the volume of the tap sounds, so you can set this to zero if you wanted to not have any sounds play. There's a couple options for the taps. You can adjust the pitch. Um, yeah, there's quite a lot you can actually set in here. Uh, you can adjust the button styling, you can adjust the font, and this uh, this package comes with quite a lot of fonts. There's six font families with a total of, I believe, 35 font faces available. Uh, let's see. Beyond all that, you can, of course, customize the keyboard as you please. Um, you can add any characters you want, really, here it's just going to output the character string and if it's a letter the display string is always going to be tied to the character string if so if you don't want this to change whenever the caps lock change um, or if you wanted to have a different display string than the character string that's going to get output then you want to change this to like a special character uh, so yeah as you can see you have quite a lot of options here for the the character type um, so you can arrange these however you want really or you can make a new keyboard if you prefer to have your own custom setup just using my keys then that's an option as well uh, let's see here uh, you can lock the case if you want so that the caps lock will not have any effect um, you can set it to be uppercase or lowercase and case lock it if you want and uh, you can set the border color and the background color in here. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, 
if you have any questions, you can reach me on my LinkedIn, or you can reach out to me, comment on my YouTube videos, uh, however you want to. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.